What is going on ladies and gentlemen, we're back here today. The agency is back and I know you see a screen. Look at the left side, what do you see? That's not OU bro. There's a dust clops right there, we're playing VGC but I'm not even alone because you know I can't handle this alone, no sir. <laughs> <laughs> I'm here with what's my good, boy Aaron, aka Cybertron, a VGC legend, a VGC legend. He's here today with us and you know, we know each other for a minute. This isn't the first time we've collabed either, I've been on his channel in the past. And I've always been a fan, and we've been talking VGC for the last few months, so he's here with us today. You know, just to, you know, get some games. We're using the most broken core, Dragapult Colossal. This has beaten me many times. People always kick my ass with this on stream, bro, so. <laughs> but he's here to yeah, teach this, us team thing I, this team was built by Wolfie, actually. He won, like, a online tournament with it. And it's super good because Colossal is an archetype where it's, like, if a really good player is using it, it's basically busted. But even if you like don't know too much, like you can still just be like super busted because like people just don't know how to play around it. Yeah, dude, that's how I felt because I because Colossal doesn't even have good attacking stats, really, right? So yeah, I, I like I wasn't even thinking it was a threat, and then it like really messed me up. All right, yeah, yeah. I'm about, to lead, I'm about to lead off with Colossal, dude. But guys, before we go any farther, you already know how could I not go cop the merch, man. The all agency first team collection is still here for the next 10 days. So don't sleep on that, man. We've already sold close to 500, which is just insane. Like I said, for every one we donate, we'll be donating $1 to quarantine relief. Hashtag you flex, I flex. Guys, go get yourself something. We've been selling so many, but this is the best design ever. Go, why are you sleeping? Go get, the, go get yourself the red bomber. I hope this doesn't sell out. Because I remember last time we ran out of sizes in the hoodies. But hey, either way, go check this out. Thank you guys so much for showing love, and let's get right back into the video. It looks pretty yeah, good. Yeah, let's go for it. Yeah, let's dude, I'm, I'm trying to do it turn one. Um, who should I bring in the back, you think? I think Gastron's pretty good. Yeah, Gastro is like a free bring normally, just because it just like helps out against like the water types like Rotom. Yeah, Super free. fair. Now, who do you think we should bring last? Togekiss or Conquer? Who? There are definitely options. Like their team is like kind of trick roomy, so like yeah. we could go with our own dust clops just to yeah, just to neutralize trick that trick room, right? Yeah, yeah, exactly. Otherwise, I'd say Conkeldor. Both of those are decent options. So true. I'm uh, really afraid of Kant getting messed up by uh the Gothitelle because we can't touch it. Yeah, yeah, exactly. All right, let's go with dust clops. That'll be the hard read. Okay, bet, dude. So I'm just gonna serve, right? <laughs> That works here, yeah. Thanks, bro. This guy went with like double trick room lead, which is kind of weird. Yeah, this is a cool dragapult. So we're rocking the dual screens dragon dart surf. So guys, if you haven't seen this before, what happens is we're gonna surf. Colossal's gonna get plus six speed and then plus two special attack, and it's gonna go stupid. Um, I guess I'll just max flare against Gothitelle. Yeah. Yeah, that's strong. I guess that's fair. Yeah, I want the sun up. Let's see. Oh, we crit ourselves. Crit. We crit ourselves. Are you kidding me? <laughs> you gotta be kidding me. Oh, dude, this this thing is disgusting. <laughs> yeah, I can't believe we crit ourselves and only did forty percent. That's clean. That's clean. It's looking. I don't know how Colossal takes it so easily, because it's four times. It's kind of kinda nuts, honestly. Yeah, yeah, it is like really nuts. All right, I guess I'll reflect. Yeah, yeah. that looks good. And then I'll just kill Kong. If possible with uh, max flare looks like a good trade what's yeah the... i'm just worried if, if the conk like can one shot the colossal right now because he's gonna outspeed us with trick room being oh up. true oh, he could have like close combat or something yeah what's your favorite uh strategy right now in vgc if you could pick one like what's your go-to i was actually um so i, I kind of like built like a counter team to be all like the dragapult and the colossal stuff oh, so sure. i'm actually i i, I uh like, I, I didn't invent this. I saw some other player try it out. He's gonna max comp. <laughs> Ally switch? Oh, this guy's cheeky. Oh. oh we take oh, it. We tanked. Ridiculous. <laughs> Alright, that's sweet. Oh, I can't believe he tanked. That's actually nuts. Yeah, so uh, some str one recent strategy I've been using is a uh, Scarf Moldbreaker Excadrill with things like Togekiss and Weakness Policy Duraludon. So what you do is you go with, like, fast Togekiss and, um... Excadrill and you just go for bulldoze and because you're a mold breaker that actually decreases dragapult speed So you outspeed the dragapult with togekiss afterwards. So against oh, like colossal yeah. stuff You can just go bulldoze dazzling gleam and like pick up a double. That's video. pretty clean. That's pretty clean. Yeah, yeah Dude, how do I beat this ferrothorn? Should I save colossal? Yeah, I think we have to actually yeah, like, we, literally we, have we basically to, right? have to play around the ferrothorn and then 
Not I guess that, I'm gonna go no, Dust Clubs here with yeah, from Colossal, yeah, yeah. and then I'm just gonna Light Screen, I guess. No, nah, that doesn't really make sense. special attacks, so probably just like Dragon Darts. Dragon works. Darts against Conk, and then go to Dust Clubs with Colossal. Yeah, dude, it yeah. got too hot. Luckily, Reflects it up, so it can't get too bad. I hope he doesn't go for Max Darkness. Oh, oh no. Yeah, okay, no, okay. please don't kill me. No. Max Hailstorm? <laughs> Even what? with the okay. Reflect up, it got smashed. Holy cow. We do get that nice 20%. Okay. I guess I'll just protect. Yeah, yeah. With Gastro. I mean, I'm probably... Sl I am slower than Conk. But I'm just going to die to Ferrothorn, so there's that. Um, yeah. I guess I'll use Nightshade against Conk. I think that works, yeah. This might come with Max Darkness. Dude, I really got messed up by Dynamax Conk. This is tough. I'm telling you, my VGC win rate, guys... It's not hot. That's why Aaron had to come through today because I don't think I could have won us myself. I was up 7 2 on the ladder, guys. My record right now is 10 and 9. 10 we're learning. We're learning. This is though. the make or break, bro. I'm going to 50%. So if I lose this game and then I lose the game after, I'm career negative, which means I'm done. I'm done. Nah, 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 dude. We, we, we're not letting you retire this early. True, You're true. I can't go. I can't go I net think. negative. I That'd think. be so hard. <laughs> <laughs> That's why we're going to clutch it. Okay. Protect here. Oh, great, great play. Great play. Oh, the ch 8%. Oh, <laughs> it's fried. This thing is so strong. Alright, is that a max that lose? That's good. Yeah. I guess I'm just going to try to hit the conk. Yeah, we're in some trouble because he set up the hail, so like Colossal's going to faint from hail anyway. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> And we're dead. No, no. Please kill. No, I got smoked, dude. <laughs> it was close, though. It was close. I think there are actually some some uh, really good lessons to learn from this. There like, were some lessons to learn. Yeah, the, the first one is like, like Trick Room is pretty scary. Unless this guy doesn't have Protect for, on his... No, nah, actually, Hail Mount. He just mock punches us anyway. This guy can just yeah. mock punch. Yeah. So we need him to throw right now. We need him to really throw right now. Oh, wait, never mind. Wait, 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 wait. wait. What? what is he Are doing? you serious? He threw, bro. I told you. We need him to throw it. He threw. Oh, no. He threw. Are you serious? <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay, that was, dude. You blessed that guy the game. Was, that guy was actually playing pretty well. Until, yeah, I don't he know was. Why. You, oh, always, oh. you always walk punch Colossal because Gastron doesn't oh. beat Farrah. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> dude, we take them. Wow, that was really them. lucky. Yo, you know what? I can't. Why did he just kill <laughs> we'll take it. We'll take it. You blessed the win there. I feel, Dude, like, you, I I feel like you've spoken into existence, telling me I can't retire yet. I think. Right. I think overall, like that game was actually pretty solid. The main thing you want to remember with Colossal is that like the side effects from um, the rocks is like super super busted. I got you. So like after turn one, like it would have been maybe good to like go for rocks the second turn because even if we're not picking up a one hit KO, like we don't necessarily need one hit KOs because the rocks like just does so much damage to everything else afterwards. Hmm. I'm trying to think. What kind of text do you think he has here? Because he has some weird stuff, right? It's like sun. Yeah, yeah. So with this stuff, like, um, one lead you can go with is, like, Ninetales Venusaur. So that's sets of the sun. And then Venusaur just, like, spams Sleep Powder, which is honestly one of the more annoying things to deal with sure. in the game. And then you've also got uh, Fake Tears from Liopard. So you can um, just, like, go with Fake Tears oh, with facts, the special attacker. Yeah. Use and that uh, it's a fast Fake Powder, too. Yeah. And uh, it you know, gets, like, Taunt or Encore as well. Bunch of annoying things, basically. Your Toga Kiss is Toga really good. Kiss. Yeah, this this Toga Kiss is, is solid, I think. Um, especially because it has Lum, so that actually is pretty good in the yeah. match against Venusaur. Uh, who else is pretty good? Colossal is good, of course. What do you think you're gonna bring? This one's tricky, honestly. Yeah, uh, that's how I felt. Because it's like you don't want to go Dragapult Colossal, because um, like if they set up the Sun, you can just get Sleep Powdered immediately. Mm -hmm. I and think like then you're probably gonna lose because you lose your main. Guy. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. I think like like, like Toga Kiss and um, Dusclops is actually interesting because like if they go with the fast mode, Trick Room could be pretty interesting. True. Um, I think Gastro is not that great here because of Venusaur. Uh, Nine Tails might have like a Grass type attack too. Yeah. Um, so we could go like Conkeldor Colossal or like Dragapult Colossal. Oh, I like that. Uh, Let's go with the. Like Conk does damage in this game. Conk is actually uh, really good, especially if it Dynamaxes. It's pretty hard to take on. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. That's not bad. 
Yeah, for the for the people watching, um, so this team was built by Wolfie, and uh, I think he posted a video on it a few days ago. So oh, did he just check that out. Did he just uh, recently build it. Yeah, so he used it for like an online tournament, um, okay. and like just just for fun, and he ended up actually like winning it, um, which was super sick. <laughs> yeah, Wolf is crazy. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that was nuts, dude. Um, so I, I think like Colossal is like super super common right now because like this team and then a bunch of other like uh, really popular like Spanish players built a Colossal team, and like mm -hmm. basically now it's like people people realize like oh damn this is like really good. It's not just a gimmick. Yeah, because this does look really good. Wait, wait, what are we leaning with? Oh god, we got uh, Tokus, Dusclops, Colossal, and uh, Kong. Oh, uh, we got you picked it. it, you picked it. I was like, wait, what did he say? <laughs> okay, you're good. Oh you're good. no! Oh no! We timed out! <laughs> wait, did we? I think so, yeah. Because we have the first one. Alright, it's not the end of the world, actually, though. This is doable. No, we um, Oh, they picked for us? It's fine. Oh, the yeah, good thing yeah. is they don't just auto forfeit for you. Yeah. Whatever. Yeah. At least they picked for. Okay, it's fine, it's fine. Who did we want to pick? Togekiss? Yeah, we uh, so the, but the lead oh. matchup is a whack because we picked two things that we're not supposed to lead next to yeah. each other. <laughs> it's not terrible though because they can't like fake us out right now, which is True. interesting. We could uh, you could honestly go for Chip with Dragapult, couldn't you? Is that a good play? Yeah, I think Chip is fine. I was also thinking of like slight screening so that Venusaur does less. Alright, go for it. Yeah, all right, I'm gonna I'm click moves. Let's let's go for yeah. light screen. I think uh, Trick Room here is actually interesting because we like can get Colossal under Trick Room. Oh, he's gonna max Venusaur. Okay, that's max actually good. For immediately. Us. Oh, this guy's cheesing. Oh, what? <laughs> that's fine. That's what fine. What kind of strategy is this? I hope we are able to get the light screen off. Good. Yo, that's a great turn. Wow, he's in like a really bad spot now. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's why we want to trick him. Yeah, that was really smart. Okay, okay. What are you thinking here? I guess we could just attack with Dragapult on uh, yeah, I like that. Lipard, right? Or we yeah. could reflect too. Actually. Yeah, the, the one thing I always wonder about is like Liopard, like so like Encore is a pretty good move, but they don't like use it very often. Yeah. But like Encore here would be would be pretty scary. So I think it could be worth it to like go for like a Dragon Darts and actually switch the Dusclops out in a Conkelder just to see if he has right, it. But... This guy's so he's guys talking all this. Guy's talking tra oh. Big oh, he has the okay, okay. Oh what? Oh that's fine, that's fine. he's got some threat. Oh, don't get paired. Oh come on. <laughs> okay. Let's see. I mean, it's not the end of the world. It's not, yeah. Oh, um, I guess I'll just sec Dragapult and uh, kill Lipard with Drain Punch. Yeah, I think that's fine. All right. Yeah, cause he's uh, he's like maxed Venusaur anyway, so he's probably gonna attack Conk. Oh no, it's totally dead, dude. We're screwed. No, no, dude, I believe it. That's fine, it's fine. Oh, no. I wish I didn't get paired there. Probably shouldn't have set up Reflect. Okay. Um... Should I go with Colossal? Yeah, so I think our way of winning this, basically... So he had Copycat, which you sometimes use with Trick Room users, so that you can um, actually... One busted mechanic is that you can Dynamax a Pokemon and Max Guard it, and Copycat actually copies the Trick Room. So it's like oh, a guaranteed Trick Room, geez, basically. So he probably has that with Gardevoir. That's very stupid. Okay. Yeah, yeah. But I think what we could do is we can bring out Colossal, we can max it. Um okay. he might he might try to just fake tears like Leaf Storm it, but we have screens up, so it's not the end of the world. Yeah. I guess I'll go for surf. Like Or is that not a good play? <laughs> actually, uh, it could work. I am just actually no. The scary thing is if we surf and he fake tears us, I think we just oh, get we're so dead, him. yeah, true. Yeah, yeah. All right. so I think it it might be worth it actually to switch Dragon Ball out into Clops right now. Okay. And then we want to go for um, Max Rock, I think. On Max the Vocalith on Lipard, right? Okay. Yeah, yeah. Because so the one thing that's going for us so far this game, that's good, is that um, it is that they've already used their Dynamax. Yeah, he's okay. He's gonna copy Reflect. Oh, this guy's yes, going yes, for Blind yes, Sleep yes, Powder. Yes, Get yes, out of here, dude. Miss. Dude, he's trying to. Why didn't he just uh, do something? <laughs> Whatever. Should we Trick Room? Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah 100%, 100%. Trick Room, yeah. and then we just Max Flare Venusaur. Yeah. Yeah, I think so. Okay, please he please. might try to sleep powder so we could like protect Colossal. So that's like a it's like a 50 50 on whether he tries to sleep oh, powder. Does I'm gonna make this place. I like I like those odds. Trick room and max guard. I like those odds. Yeah, let's do it. Let's do it. <laughs> noob, <laughs> let's get it. noob. Oh, noob. <laughs> Yo, dude, we're about to boss up on this guy after all that trash talk. Oh, wait, I only killed one mon though. <laughs> no, it's all good. It's all good. We're in a good spot. Yeah, it's, it's not a bad spot at all. If he sacks the Venusaur, that. Gastro could come through in the end, right? Okay, in comes Gardevoir. Um, 
What are you thinking? I uh, he might try to reverse our trick room with the Gardevoir. We know he has um the like Venusaur. I don't think has uh yeah it doesn't have protect because he's used Sleep Powder and Earth yeah. Powder. We've Earth Power and so he has Grass and Poison. So we can go for like a uh, like Flare until that spot is pretty free. Do Gardevoir's uh, ally switch or anything? Or are we good? Uh oh god, it probably does. Have so then it. I'm thinking maybe I, I I I target it, but that could be like an insane read. So I don't know what you think. Yeah, I mean. Actually, I think it's fine to just flare Venusaur and Nightshade Gardevoir because if okay. they ally switch, we KO Gardevoir anyway. And then, right, um, good idea. Okay, nice. Alright, but yeah. he just sacked it. Yeah, yeah. Like, Gardevoir might reverse Trick Room, but oh, what the? <laughs> okay. <laughs> Dude, we're fast too. I don't know if that. Yeah, Yo, <laughs> well, that was actually kind of smart, I guess, but. Yeah, that was kind of smart because now we're like a little weaker depending on who his last is. Yeah, yeah. Oh, it it's nice. Tails. Dude, I feel like we're in a good spot. We are, yeah. Yeah, don't I just Stone Edge Nine Tails? It's a special uh, Colossal, so it's Ancient Power, oh. but we have one more turn of Rocks and three turns of Trick Room. So I'm thinking what we can do is actually switch Colossal out, get rid of that special attack draw. Okay, um, facts, facts. That's a great idea. Nightshade the Gardevoir, Nightshade so it feigns after Rocks, oh, and then we can have Colossal just wins afterwards. Oh, that's a great idea. Yeah, because this should feign. Oh, he's got oh, a berry. berry. All right, all right. That's fine, that's fine. That's new. What's Nine Tails going to do? He has no problem. Dude, the the rock is... Oh, it ended. Okay. Um. So here we Heat Wave, and then I Trick Room, right? We still have two turns. Oh, we still have turn turns. So I killed N Gardevoir with Nightshade. Yeah. And then I Ancient Power Ninetales. Yeah. Yeah, I think that's pretty pretty free. Yeah, even if he, like, double protect... I don't know, do any of his mods even have protect? He, like, doesn't go for I, it. I don't know. This guy's not... this guy was talking it. all that trash. He lost? Are you kidding me? Oh, my God. You gotta be <laughs> kidding me. Toxicity on the ladder... Bro, you might just be the go VGC tutor. Yo, this this guy got real quiet after the start. GG, man. bro. Hey, hey, hey. Smoked him. <laughs> is he talking? God, he's trash. You gotta be kidding me. Dang, you got nowhere to be found. You're right. I actually scared him off the lat. Now, <laughs> now he's taking a whole lot of time. You gotta be kidding me. Gotta be kidding. Dude, we flexed though. We we uh, we ran out of time. Didn't even bring what we, we ran out of time. To. That's actually crazy. We didn't even no bring problem. the right mods. No problem. Dude. Didn't even bring what was intended. He st dude, yeah, these were some lord plays for real. After the horrible start when that Venusaur was going crazy, I don't know how. This is so like the thing about VGC, that's pretty unique, especially because oh um, I know like you know a lot of uh, yes. your guys. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta be kidding me! It's so whack. I know, I know a lot of your viewers, like, you know, mainly know, like, singles. Like, VGC, like, Dynamax is such a big deal. So, in Dude, this it's game, so, like... it's so fun in this one. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. Because, like, we stalled out our opponent's Dynamax. Like, what we were able to do is just get so much more out of our turns. And obviously, yeah, we we're lucky to, like, dodge true. a Sleep Powder. But, like, it's a gamble on a Sleep Powder like that. It made sense from his perspective. But, yeah, if he misses that, like, it's very hard for him to win. Which is why, like, Venusaur, like, I don't like playing with, actually. Because you often get, like, too reliant on trying to hit Sleep Powders. Yeah. And that's how it goes, like, uh... Like in terms of Dynamax, like that's why we went through so much in the beginning. Exactly. Yeah. Just so yeah. that we could stall his max for our sake. So like that's why we yeah. just went through it because it was really going crazy versus us. Exactly. But it was that awesome. was a hype one though, dude. We pulled a comeback. Yeah, we really did pull a really good comeback. All right, let's get it. Let's do it. Yeah. So like one thing about VGC, that's definitely also pretty unique. I mean, leads is always like super important, but in VGC, like especially in best of one, like it's so it can be really tough if you like don't have at least like a decent lead matchup. So like yeah, yeah. with you always want to find like leads basically that like don't hard lose to like anything unless it's like a super like cheese gimmick basically. Yeah. So like with this team, for example, Dragapult Colossal is just a really consistent lead because like Dragapult's so fast, you can't fake out. And uh, yeah, with Dynamax, just, just super strong. Uh, what the hell is this guy using? <laughs> I feel like I never know how to get the most out of Togekiss. Togekiss is interesting. It's like very team dependent because like yeah. this one is like a super fast one. So like it's not me meant to be used for offense and it's meant to be more used for like spreading sleep with Yawn and uh, follow me pressure. But like some other Togekiss's like scope lens is super common. So people run like hyper, hyper offensive Togekiss and like they try to max it and do a lot of damage. So it depends on the team. Yeah, I agree. Right, it's good too. Yeah, his team is pretty weird. All right, what you thinking? Oh, uh, I guess. I think Gastron looks great here, actually. For I agree, sure. yeah. For sure, I think we should bring it. Agreed, yeah. Colossal looks pretty nasty too. Yep, yep. Oh, uh, so does... Conk. Hmm. 
I guess we could lead Dragapult Gastro. What do you think? Yeah, that works. So what I like to do, um, having played with this team just a little bit, is like Dragapult Colossal still, just because like, to, like if they don't have something to hard beat it, you you can often just win true. on turn one. Yeah. And if they do have something, what you can do is like switch out into Gastro, go for screens or like protect setup screens. Like you have a lot of options. Yeah, that's true. It's not like Gastro's taking a big hit regardless. Exactly. That's yeah. a good point. And like late late game Gastro is super good here, even offensively. So that's we'll a good want point. that back. I think. You think Conk or Togekiss last? There's a lot of interesting options. Like part of me normally goes with Dusclops because like, oh, really? like with the option to set up Trick Room, um, like Colosso and I'm oh, sorry, Dusclops and Gastro can kind of just sweep through. But that's actually a good point because Trick Room literally won us the game last time. Yeah, yeah, like yeah, it's that's Trick Room point. is still, still just so good. Yeah. Like and especially with teams that like don't rely on it 100% mm -hmm. of the time. Okay, yeah, I feel like this guy just loses actually. <laughs> yeah, I guess I'm gonna uh, Surf and Dynamax. Yeah, I like that. And then I'm just gonna go for Vocalith on probably Haunter because that's probably Sash. I think that's good. Yeah. Yeah. I've never actually seen a Haunter like. Me either. Evil Light also makes sense on it, but like it doesn't really do anything that scares us. Okay, so whatever. That's fine. Twenty-four. I guess he could go for Trick Room here if he's uh wants to play. Oh, okay, he <laughs> just gets dunked on. Never mind. Dunked on. <laughs> Dude, I think that's actually lost. really good. <laughs> the scariest thing about um vocalith is like so like um what you often want to do is like wait after your opponent dynamaxes and then use it because then you just get so much off with it but yeah. um in this case like he switched in milo so like we, we were able to just get like that free extra damage yeah. off before dynamaxes and he's like already kind of screwed now right because i think we, so yeah. we can just uh light screen or even attack arcanine or what i guess because i'm trying to go for overgrowth on melodic here yeah, yeah. I think the the one scary thing is that like Milo's actually tend to Dynamax now, so like a safe oh. play is probably like go into Gastro just to hundred percent protect Colossal. Oh, so switch Colossal out here? Oh no no no! You switch the Dragon Pulled out. Oh, uh, into Gastro. Gastro. Yeah. Yeah yeah. And then I'll over so, so then it's like if he doesn't max, um, we yeah. just KO if he max. He has to, yeah okay. True. He's not maxing. Oh, he didn't max. expect it. You can't Beautiful. expect it, bro. Yeah. <laughs> it's probably his first time. This was me two weeks ago. First time playing this. I was like, what just happened? So like that play covers all our options because if he doesn't dynamax we one shot him and if yeah. he does max um then he can't go for muddy water and he goes for max geyser and then gastro redirects that oh true i guess i'll just earth power arcanine and then max guard a max flare gardevoir looks over yeah there are a lot of options I, I think the safest play actually is because so we know arcanine protected and he's probably not gonna max that it's probably gonna max oh, Gardevoir. True. he's probably gonna max guard. what we could do is um just guarantee the KO onto Arcanine with the uh, Vocalit. Yeah. Uh, and, then yawn. and then go for a yawn. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, facts. Yeah, I guess at this point it's like impossible to throw. Nice, nice. Clean. Clean. He's gonna mine straight. He doesn't Bounced KO. off. Nice. That's dead. Game over. He fell for the <laughs> saw the, yeah, that was a wash. Alright, you clean, might as well get one. Yeah, this nice, team is man. actually really strong. It's fire. Yeah, it's yeah. really good. It's really fun. And it's one of those things where I think like when people see Dragon Ball Colossal, they think it's just kind of like spamming it. And like it works against some teams, but like there's enough options with the rest to like sure. uh, so like you're not like forced to just go with it. Like, yeah, like the time. way we won that Venusaur game wasn't because Dragapult surfed and then we just like mindlessly swept like exactly, we had to like yeah. actually like try. And the main thing is like just for combos like these, you have to assess in team preview, like, okay, is it safe to lead with it or is there something that counters me so hard that I like can't afford to bring it? Because yeah. like really good players will have answers against like archetypes like this so it's like if you want to be one step ahead of them you just have to identify the fact that they might have something that counters you and just like play safer and if you have the lead matchup with this uh you can often just snowball super quickly yeah i really that like that awesome. effect honestly that's like a big thing with dynamax like as a whole yeah 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 a snowball effect but i like that momentum type stuff it's exciting all right this guy seems pretty scary Okay. Well, honestly, like, Gastro looks super good here. This is interesting. Yeah, he's got, like, Rhyperion Compeller, but no Trick Room. It's all just, like, Tailwind stuff with Whimsicott. Hmm. From what I see... What you thinking? You take this one. Yeah, yeah. All right, let's do it. Um, there are definitely a bunch of options. Like, I don't like Togekiss here much because Redirection doesn't help with Duraludon anyway. And, um... We don't have Babiri Berry, so like Dynamax Duraludon just one shots us. Yeah. So what we could do is actually still go with Dragapult Colossal because even under Tailwind, a lot of his things, um, like Rhyperior and Conkeldur are super slow anyway. 
and we could always like go for like a light screen protect turn one and then switch into gastro turn two so i'm thinking dragapult colossal we want gastro main because our opponent has the rotom and i'm thinking dusclops because like dusclops gastro can put in some work here mm -hmm. um the one thing is like conkeldor actually looks really good against everything but then the question is how you fit it in because then you either have to give up the dusclops or the gastrodon and like both seem pretty essential here damn that is a good point yeah alternatively there's actually the trick room option too where we like just try to set up trick room early but i don't like that too much because they have um, yeah they have a lot of things that could benefit yeah yeah exactly so we could just go with dragon pool colossal with uh cool, cool for it yeah all right let's do it let's go dragon pool colossal we'll go dust clops gastro in the back yeah okay. gastro looks like it's gonna clean yeah the, the main thing with gastro is like even in team pre exerts pressure but like of course like they have to bring the rotom here pretty much if they want to really pressure yeah they're gonna lead with it which is fine great so we have options here we this just... thing rotom might go for something like um let me see how fast this is actually so do we outspeed this actually even under tailwind i think we do because we're we go we're like modest max speed okay so plus six is what times four right? yeah yeah so yeah we're faster we could go we actually could like there are a bunch of options here we could surf and actually just go for max overgrowth if we think this guy is gonna go for like a nasty plot because it's like so risky to just stay in and just try to like attack colossal so i think i'm at surf max overgrowth actually a pretty it. cool option here go for it oh shit. He's gonna max. let's see how this plays out Oh. oh, he's fake tearsing. Okay, okay. Oh shit. I don't know if we one shot, unfortunately. I feel like we... that's super risky on his end though, because the gastro switch and just don't. Dump, yeah. Dump oh shit, almost. That was close. That was close. What he click geyser? Yeah. But it's okay. fine though. That was pretty risky on his part, but that fake tears always be. I guess you would have died anyway though. Yeah. All right, let's see. Yeah, so actually, I think this is a good get a demonstration of why it's like typically better to play safer. Like, I wanted to play super aggro because I was worried if sure. he has nasty plot that could mess us up. But like, light screen protector, light screen switch into gastro is pretty free turn one. Yeah. Let's see. Big question is whether he has um, taunt or like a grass type attack on the whimsic hop. I feel like he's like, probably taunt, uh, fake tears, encore. And like you think energy moonblast last right or something like that yeah the thing with whimsical there's like eight or nine good moves that it can run so it's like a combo of anything i could <laughs> yeah, see him like true. tailwinding here and like max darkness if he has it yeah, um that could happen i feel like he, so like he, i feel like he can't behind, touch a gastro though yeah so if if he doesn't have a grass type attack like what we could do is try to go for a yawn onto the whimsical and just like put on pressure there sure. if he has a grass type attack like i think we're probably screwed anyway yeah so. you, all right he's just... gonna tailwind that's good and max darkness yeah that's fine. Tanked. Oh, this is gonna live, isn't it? Oh, God, that's sad. Are you kidding me? It lives. <laughs> what? Because now he can um max lightning to set up the terrain. Yeah. Uh, let's see. That's really annoying. Yeah. Keep it's trying. not the end of the world though. Uh, the main annoying. thing is yeah, like losing colossal turn one is often like just like a losing play basically. So mm -hmm. I played aggro, but his play was like pretty obvious as well. So. That's why switching in Gastro is like relatively safe. I know what you mean. Though. If you made that play, you probably won. Like on the spot. Yeah, but I, I just wanted I just wanted to dunk on him. So nah, nah. <laughs> I know what you mean. Thunder die. That's how it goes. Okay, Moonblast. Gonna... This thing's gonna get wolf washed. Oh, that she ate it up. Oh, actually, this guy did max lightning, so he so actually. It's actually not that bad of a play, like, cause, cause depending on his last two, I feel like. You could be fine. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Because what we can do now is actually set up trick room, guaranteed. Yeah, tr guaranteed trick room. Um, and we have pain split too. Yeah. Okay, no flinch, no flinch. Good. We don't get flinched here. We're actually in a great spot, I think. Great. Okay, okay. This is doable. This is actually pretty good. Cool. I feel like yeah, because maybe Gastro can just sweep. Okay. We so the, we, we totally wall this. Yeah, yeah, we could actually just uh, pain split and earth power it. We could double attack, right? Yeah, for sure. Yeah, yeah exactly. Yeah, we've useless for now. Oh, oh nice. great play. Look oh, look at that heal. Oh, I didn't even think about pain split. I didn't even see that. <laughs> oh, nice. This man got back to full. And that yeah, that still isn't good enough. Oh, yeah. And he's. <laughs> Yo, that was a hit. Yo, you actually brought this back. It's possible. It's doable. Let's okay. try. He's I not right here. I think you okay. double attack right here, too. Right. Yeah, I'm thinking that too. Yeah, Pain yeah. Blitz, Skull, same Moonblast thing. Moonblast isn't KOing us anyway. Yeah, and you just get the HP back again. 
Uh, right, he's gonna possess it. That's fine. That's fine. Still way too many turns. Yeah, the main thing is that we're gonna heal back from the uh, not, uh the the yeah, game's loading. Exactly. And this is the power. is gonna beat Whimsicott with uh, Yawn Protect. Exactly. Yeah. Mm -hmm. He's going for fake tears. I guess that makes sense. Seventy-three percent. That's so funny. Dustclops is actually dude, such a good Pokemon. Dude, it's kind of crazy. Dustclops is so good. This thing, yeah. this thing actually really saved this game and the Colossal game. Dude, yeah, that was, that, that, that's an, that was an Let's epic win. I'm Let's ended on that it. one. That was actually an epic win. Holy cow. I think these games are cool, though, because it shows you, like, normally, I feel like a lot of people would just give up after turn one. Yeah, because like, oh, that's like, what I thought. Yeah, I thought like, we lost. My way. But, like, the thing about VGC is, like, you always have to just, like, find the win conditions, and that's why, like, Trick Room just looked really good against our opponent's team. Like, to, like... It was a weird combination of Pokemon because they have Rhyperior and Conkeldur, but like that doesn't really help them beat Trick Room because like, you know, things like like Dust Cops and Gastro basically as we saw just went through that with no problem. So like, if we were able to manage the speed control and like turn it into our favor, which we did with Trick Room, it was then like super hard for our opponent to win. Yeah. But yeah, Nightshade is clutch, dude. Nightshade plus um, freaking um, Pain Split is just busted. Yeah, that's a hit. All in all, it worked out really well. Exactly, exactly. But hope y'all enjoyed. Definitely go check out Aaron. I will link his channel in the description. Go check out the merchandise. Leave a like, leave a comment, all the good stuff. We'll see you on his channel because I'll be on there too. So go check that out. Dude, we got that uh, above 50% win rate though. You're not retiring true, today. True, true, true. <laughs> yeah, dude, we smoked everybody today. That guy clean, talking clean, trash clean. too. And then the, the, the dust cost is the MVP. I'm going to figure out a way to put him in the, in the thumbnail. 100%, dude. All right, we'll catch you guys later. Peace. Later.